So today we're going to be digging a little deeper. We're going to be talking about one node in particular. It's going to be this one, Clip Attention Multiply. And if you're a patron subscriber, you've already seen this guide, Improve Text and Prompt Understanding Further in Comfy UI. It's a fairly short guide, but what I wanted to show you is that through using this little hack, so to speak, is you can improve image quality, text quality, and just, you know, general image enhancements. Here's a comparison that I made with the research from Sarge and his beautiful prompt here, which is a digital art rendered image of three magical wizards stand on a yellow table. On the left, we have a wizard in black robe, who says uh, flux dot one, and then we have the middle one generates, and in the last one, it says masterpieces. And there's some, some more text down here if you wanna pause and read that. Um, I actually see it, that my face is blocking the view. You should be able to see it right there. The comparison is using default and it's using the new, well not new, but using clip attention multiply and then also clip attention multiply and the new text encoder that we covered in the last video, which is this one. You can find it uh, either in my previous video. It's also in my previous Patreon post. I have done 10 seed variations here, just seed one from 10. And here we have default flux dot one generates masterpieces. We, we lost the eye there. With the clip attention multiply, we're actually fixing that text. And with the new text encoder and clip attention multiply, we're getting a little different kind of image, but the text is all good. The image looks, well, kind of cool, I would say. Um, the dragon is, I don't know what's going on with the dragon, but the wizards are looking okay. And we have some examples here. In this one, Flux1 one generates high saying masterpieces, doesn't really work over there. And then with Clip Attention Multiply, it's still not perfect, kind of broken there. But with Clip Attention Multiply and the new text encoder, it's, the text works very well. However, the eyes got a little wonky here. So it's a little hit and miss, but if you take uh, an average of it all, uh, the improvement is clearly noticeable, uh, especially over time and over multiple generations. Here we have flux.1, we have a one up here, generates masterpieces, so it's okay-ish except for the little sign here. And then when clip potential multiply, it actually fixes that. So I would say this is, you know, fairly okay. And um, this one is also good, so it kind of changes the image a little bit with the new text encoder as well. So what is this clip potential multiply, you might ask? Well, what's going on, right, is that you connect from the dual clip loader or any clip for that matter, you can use the clip from a checkpoint loader as well. You get clip attention multiply and it's in config core. It's not as, as specific node, custom node you need to, to get. And then you just connect that like I've done here from clip to clip and then clip to your text prompt. So just in front of your text prompt. And what it does, it, it gives, gives you four values that you can work with. And this, this is query, key, value, and out. Now, I'm no machine learning expert, but the way I've understood it is you have a query, right? So this is, this is query, Q. And this can be like, what, what do you want to see? The AI is asking you, what do you want to see? What do you want me to draw? And you say, cat in, oops, in hat, right? This is query. And then it goes like this, right? So we get boom, boom, boom. And we have cat, it gets separated in tokens. So cat in hat. So these are tokens or keys. So boom, 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 boom. These are the keys. And then it's the values of these. So let, let me just put V here. And what, what is that? So what is a cat, right? What is a cat? So this is kind of the container, the value of what a, uh, what a cat is. Maybe it's, you know, fluffy green, no, fluffy animal with green eyes. It's a cat, you know, it, it, the cat is, has some sort of value inherent to it. And same with a hat, like a piece of cloth that you wear on your head. And so with it, you can increase or decrease the values of this. So the query, you know, that's the question, the main thing. The keys are like the clues of what's going on in the in the question. And then the value is, you know, what goes on in this in the clues or the, the, the words, the tokens, whatever. So what you can do is, is you can increase and decrease the values here. And by doing that, you will change what's going on in the image, right? 
And th these settings were um, found by Sarge. So he put these settings together. We tested them out and found that, you know, it actually improves the images a little bit. And then the out, that's basically just, you know, an output. So it increases the strength of, of uh, the clip attention, you know, of the overall output. But again, I'm no machine learning expert. So if you feel I made any mistakes in the explanation here, please correct me in the comments below so I can learn more too. And now just, you know, a TLDR of that is it's going to make your images better, especially when it comes to texts and prompt understanding in general. So that's kind of cool. So feel free to play with the values, see what works for you. But just by using this little quick fix or this little quick hack, you can increase just by doing well, basically nothing. It takes no time to load. This is here is just 0.08 seconds. It's an approximation, I guess, but still. Uh, and I don't think there's like, there should be literally no extra VRAM requirements for this. It's just, you know, it's just changing the values. These values are, are coming already from the clip and they are then one, 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 one. We're just changing them, right? So this is a multiplier. So one is the base, the default. If you set this to 1.1, it's, you know, 110%. Or if you set this to 0.90, it's 90% of the, the original. That's basically what a multiplier means. So yeah, if you do want to learn more about intention, I put this video here. So this it was a video with uh, Rasa algorithm whiteboard transformers intention to keys values squares. There's a lot of guys that you know, Google around and uh, you'll find info about that. So I hope I kept your attention during this little rant. Let's change the prompt there. Digital art rendered image of a cat lying, lying, laying, lying on the floor or in the grass. Let's do it in the grass. A text above reads, pet me, right meow. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.